Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at the price of gold. The price has soared $100 in just seven days. We've seen a major breakout here. We've seen a push above a declining trend line that's been in place for multiple years. So this is something we're going to pay attention to and see whether it can be sustained. So there's a couple of main drivers here. One is that we just had testimony from Fed Chair Janet Yellen. She indicated that there's probably going to be a pretty gradual, slow increase in interest rates in the US this year. And then we look across overseas and we see the Bank of Japan cutting rates into the negative. Today, we saw the Swedish bank, the Rich Bank, cut into the negative. The ECB, the European Central Bank, has cut interest rates to the negative. So these lower interest rates mean that any asset which doesn't yield anything like gold can still perform quite well. Now, the other thing is that stock markets have been crashing, particularly this week, financial stocks have been completely pummeled. And so there's a flight into uh, safe havens. Gold is the classic safe haven. And so that's why we've seen the price surge so strongly. But there has been a technical breakout. And we want to look and see if this can be sustained. So this is a weekly candlestick chart of gold. Now, you can see that we've got this fairly well-defined declining trend line here. And as of now, the week has not closed. Uh, so there could be a sharp reversal for the remainder of today or Friday. But as it stands, it looks like we're going to get a close for the week above this declining trend line. Now, we're, we're pretty overbought. We're testing this uh, level from May 2015 at the moment, around the 1,230 per ounce mark. But even though we could get a slight pullback, this is a game-changing moment. And it could be that we've seen the end of the, down, the, the downtrend in gold. OK, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at gold, of course. There's been a big breakout beyond this downsloping trend line. We need to see how we finish this week first. And then the factors to watch are again, you know, how does the Federal Reserve react to the skyrocketing gold price, falling stock prices? And, and how does that interpret itself in, in the demand for, for safe haven assets like gold?